in the previous video lecture we have seen few programs using functions and execution also we have seen with respect to output so now before going to the local and global and storage class first i'll go for call by value call by reference what is this and with an example followed by two more programs uh, like uh, using arrays arrays programs okay uh, how to write the programs of arrays using functions how to pass the array what is the logic so one important thing i want to explain there also we'll make it so after that we'll go for the scopes and storage classes followed by recursions hello everyone this is shravan kumar mantri technical trainer welcome to our channel csc gurus now let us observe this program so the program actually uh, my intention is to go for i'll give two values something like a what is the a value is something like 5 uh, afterwards i'll give b value something like uh, 7 now i want to write a program to swap two numbers which means uh, after swapping a should become uh, 7 b should become 5 right so that is what swapping right so a variable the value should be the v value which is 7 should come here and b value should be a so for that i just have written this program let us see whether it will make the thing or not uh, let us see here enter a value which is 5 uh, enter b value which is 7 then i have written the function swap a comma b which means swap of 5 comma 7 where a value is 5 b value is 7 so this is actual parameter a and b so formal parameters are x and y and what is x value with respect to a value which is 5 y value which is b value which is 7 now i've taken z what is z is equals to any value right here x what is x value which you got it as 5 then y value which you got it as 7 through actual parameter then z equals to what z equals to x what is x value 5 so z value is 5 x equals to y what is previous x value 5 now you are assigning 7 so that means x value 7 which here it is 7 now y equals to z what is y value z what is z value 5 so y value will be 5 here now x is 7 y is 5 over but after this function is executed are you returning anything no you simply have written void now when you complete this function it's not returning anything anyway anyway you cannot return two values that is also we know next you are printing what is a value what is a value 5 what is b value 7 will it print 7 comma 5 no it is again printing 5 comma 7 so let us see this with respect to output so i just have copied whatever swap function two parameters it is taking and there is no return type simply i have taken a value b value and i just want to make it so for more clarity why should i write enter a value directly i'll give a and b values so in the same i'll make it little bit reduced way i'll make it uh, percent ld percent ld two values at a time i am giving ampersand a ampersand b uh, now let us see will it uh, solve our purpose uh, i'll give a value okay let me make it here i'll give a value 5 b value 7 still you can see what is a value 5 b value 7 is that swapping is done no right so that's what you made x and y values which you those values are not changing here as a comma b anyway you copied a value to x b value to y but once the task is done your x value is copied to a no y value is copied to b no but how to get the answer which is swapping here so what is our options maybe you want to return if you return x comma y can you return two values no so anyway you can return only one value at a time of course you might write int and you want to make it x written x comma y not possible even if you write it will return only x not y and you want to print uh, instead of a comma b you print x comma y here of course you get the answer that is also one more thing instead of printing a comma b here uh, make it x comma y x value anyway 7 y value 5 which we got it that is another option but the thing is i want to print a comma b same but it needs to be swapped when you make it like this so how this can be done so that is what the next alternate we call it as call by reference anyway whatever we have done as of now you are calling two va values you two variables a comma b 
so you are directly calling a comma b with respect to the value that's why it is called call by value you are calling with respect to value now what is another way can i make it in another way yes so you can call not only with respect to value well, let us suppose a value is 5 you have taken uh, b value is 7 you have taken so which has in the main function maybe it stores in some address might be 1000 anyway you declared right i mean you re you are reading ampersand a means some address b also some address somewhere 2000 i'm assuming so in that address i mean whatever the value is there you are taking directly through you are getting this is we call it as uh, you calling directly this is called as call by value so when you call when you pass the parameters directly through variables we call it as a call by value so now instead of calling with respect to value let me make it with another which is called as call by reference or address what is this process what is this we'll see now first of all instead of calling with respect to a comma b i want to call with respect to ampersand e and ampersand b which means which means previously you make it you made like this previously uh, if i write a comma b which is swap of a value 5 b value 7 but now now you made it ampersand a what is the address of a thousand so what is the address of b 2000 now you are calling through this so when you call it it will go there what is this ampersand a which is not a value which is a address so when you are making address here also x must be an address now x is a simple variable which must take an address that's why you should make it as a concept of the pointers pointer x and pointer y now what happened here when i write pointer x and pointer y so if i simply write uh, x comma y it has taken the value now if i write swap of which is ampersand a where i have written pointer x which means you have written into pointer x equals to thousand which is address of a uh, int pointer y which is equals to address of b which means x equals to address of a it's not pointer x equals to address of a pointer is only for the representation what is x value x is equals to address of a what is address of a thousand what is y equals to address of b what is address of b two thousand now what are x and y values they are not numbers that is not five comma seven they are thousand comma two thousand now once you pass x y value now you can see here here i want to take z z equals to i don't want to pass give the value i want to give the value inside the address so x is thousand what if if i say what is pointer of x if x is thousand what is pointer of x go to the address thousand and get the value what is the value inside thousand five so pointer of x is five if i say y is two thousand what is pointer of y which is go to the y and get the value what is the value 7 anyway this is the concept of the pointer still if you are not getting these things you can watch uh, the video pointers for beginners and experts in C which I uploaded in my channel so there everything about pointers I explained clearly everything now here instead of writing z equals to x I'll write z equals to pointer x and pointer x equals to pointer y pointer y equals to z now what happened here if i make like this so let us see what i'm doing here is uh, z is equals to pointer of x what is pointer of x means thousand that means go to the pointer of thousand get the value what is the value five so what is z value five next pointer of x pointer of thousand now go to pointer of thousand yes i'm going to the thousand here location and what you want to assign pointer of y what is pointer of y 2000 that means go to pointer of 2000 what is the value here 7 this 7 has to copy where to the thousand so here it will copy that address now pointer of y equals to z pointer of y 2000 that means go to pointer of 2000 so this is the location pointer of 2000 what should be assigned z what is the z value 5 so here 5 now clearly if you observe in a what is the value 7 you didn't updated a value but you updated through address but you can see indirectly you updated through address but indirectly a value changed you updated the address 2000 indirectly b is changed 
this is what happens through the address now now what happened here you can see you just made through address now let us suppose after this swap operation i want to ask what is a value anyway you have given 5 and 7 what is a value you can see inside it is not 5 now it is 7 what is b value it's not 7 it is 5 so this is what happens uh, when you pass through address that means it directly goes to the address and updates so that is what happens and of course this process you call it as call by reference you are calling inside the function the parameters are addresses not the values so this is called as when you call a function through reference through address it is called the concept of call by reference or call by address now with this process can i make the swapping yes that means the point to be observed here is when you change when you change the value through pointer it directly it changes the value inside the variable which is referring which means i changed in pointer x but indirectly a is updated i changed in pointer y but indirectly b is updated so that is what happens but vice versa is not possible anyway if i change it in a is that pointer x will be updated x will be updated no if i change b y will be updated no vice versa is not possible but through address it is possible reverse that is pointer x if i change a will be updated pointer y if i change b will be updated this is a concept we call it as call by reference anyway we'll try to execute anyway there is a one error in this program let us see can you guess what is the error here it is showing but the error is you can see clearly you passed two parameters right pointer x and pointer y so these two x and y are pointers but here you have given simple variables into command now you need to mention these two are also pointers for that you just mention int pointer and int pointer of course space is optional there so that pointer if you mention you are mentioning here is you have written swap function which is not returning anything but two parameters which are two address parameters that must be mentioned are the simple variables or are they pointer you have to mention so now you can see the output yes now you can see here if i give uh, 5 and 7 the output should be 7 and 5 you can see you didn't change it in a comma b but indirectly it is updated through pointer that is what the concept of call by reference so those who want to write and execute they can see and they can execute the concept of call by reference and call by value is over so we'll see some more programs uh, two to three programs with respect to uh, functions and with respect to address in the next video lecture thank you